Kim, I actually just got done interviewing a person right before this, um, all about getting referrals. And I took some notes. And so I'll start with talking about that. So her name's Stacy Brown Randall, and she has the website growthbyreferrals.com. Her podcast probably won't go live until May-ish. Um, but she walked through these five steps that were really awesome. And um, so the first step that she had was <coughs> really understanding who refers to you now. Uh, think of these people as like centers of influence. So that could be a doctor's office, that could be attorneys. Um, who's referring to you now? Um, and if you don't know that, starting there, making sure that you are tracking where people are coming from in your practice. Uh, and then it's easier to network. Step two that she had was to just have be part of your system. Every time you get a new referral, write a thank you card. Now, of course, we have to take into account um, some like HIPAA compliance and confidentiality and all of that. But even to just say, hey, thanks for the referral. I really appreciate that if you aren't allowed to give the person's name. But to have that thank you card just be a natural follow. But don't put your business card in it. It's just for, hey, thanks. Really appreciate that. And then next, um, she had... Um, to reach out throughout the year to stay top of mind with things that are meaningful and memorable. And so some examples that she gave me on the podcast interview was that on Mother's Day, she sent all of her referral sources that were mothers a um, water bottle that w had the Wonder Woman um, thing on there. And, it, and she wrote a note about how they were super heroes and happy Mother's Day. On Father's Day, she sent out Yeti water bottles to the fathers. Um, and for anyone that wasn't a parent, she sent water bottles to them as like a start to summer thing. So it kind of stood out, but it wasn't branded with her stuff. Um, next is continue to kind of plant those seeds throughout the year. So a couple other times, reach out. She gave examples of finding days um, that are unique days of the year. Um, and so National Jugglers Day, she said, is July 17th. And one of her clients, he did this video talking about, you know, there's lots of things that are out there, um, you know, in regards to your own things that you're good at outside of maybe your field. You might think, and he was a builder, you might think it might be being a builder, but actually I'm a juggler. And then he had this video of him juggling these hammers. Um, and it just was a way to kind of stay on their radar and stay top of mind. And then last she had have a process and system so that a couple times a year you're doing those, those either postcards to people, uh, writing them notes, um, giving a phone call or email so that it's not every month that you're doing something.